and shopping centers of America, crazed with sadistic lust. Police insist that to avoid becoming one of their victims, the public must first understand the perverse kind of twisted minds that they are up against. So meet Joe Callinger, currently serving a life sentence for sex-related murder here at the State Hospital for the Criminally Insane, just outside Scranton, Pennsylvania. I'm a patient person, got a good listening ear, and try to help people. You're a patient with a good ear, and you try to help people. Yes. When you're not trying to murder them. Yes. When Callinger's reign of terror ended, three were dead, including his 14-year-old son. You murdered your own son? Yes, I did. Why did you do that? He was a sacrifice. I was to murder three million people on planet Earth, and he was a sacrifice to see if I could murder one of my own. At the end of murdering all the people on Earth, I was going to murder my own family and then take my own life and become God. What do you think of the death penalty? I'm opposed to it. The state has no right to take your life, but you can murder other people? I don't think anyone has a right to take a life. Except you? When I'm under hallucination, I do. These voices from God, these hallucinations, do you still experience them? Yes, I do. Often? Often. Do you ever feel violent? Yes, I do. What do you feel like doing? Killing people. You still feel like killing people? Yes. Describe the feeling that you get when you feel like killing people. Well, last March 11th, I was hallucinating, and I took a razor blade, and I cut a man's throat. Here in the hospital? Here in the hospital. Do you think you'd murder me, Joe? Yes. That's gruesome, Joe. That's horrible. Yes, it is. And you don't blame me if I say I hope you never get out of this place. I hope I never do either. Amen.